your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she drippin' swag too. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, so she drippin' swag too. Oh, you a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag. Good morning, y'all asked and I shall deliver. Yeah, asked for get ready with me, so y'all about to get ready with me. Today I'm going to brunch with um can't really say with that we're friends but i can say that we're working and building our own bond and friendship um so we're going to this place called <laughs> i want to say it's called Guthrie in the gulch of nashville today i um, never been there but i'm interested the restaurant is definitely different The food choices are different. We were deciding between brunch and dinner and the dinner menu, trash. And I was like, the brunch menu is definitely winning me over, over dinner. So, you about to cut the grass or something? Mm-hmm. In the backyard. Yeah, that's on the grass. Gracious. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to hop in the shower, get my ass clean. And then we're gonna get to my makeup, flat iron my hair, put my clothes on. My outfit's already picked out, so before I jump in the shower, I guess I can go ahead and show y'all that. Um, so let's do that real quick. Here, man. Excuse me. And there's one thing that everybody always asks me um, when I do my makeup. And it's what primer do I use? Now, I don't use primer. Like an actual primer product, I don't use that. Um, I use Calamine Lotion. I have excessively oily skin. So the Calamine Lotion helps with my um makeup lasting all day and it also helps with my makeup um giving more of a natural um matte look not a not a um glossy type of vibe i like for my makeup to give a um a natural, a natural, a natural. I like to look like the same person when I get done doing my makeup, but with enhancements. Like, I like to enhance the beauty at hand. Like, when you wear makeup, you have to be. Like, I ain't gonna be demanding. But you have to be confident enough in yourself to know that with or without makeup, you are beautiful. And that is something internally that I know about myself. You know what I'm saying? So when I put my makeup on, I just know that I'm enhancing the beauty at hand. Like, not taking anything away from the beauty in which I already have. Just enhancing it and bringing it out more. Like, so... It's all about the belief within yourself. If you don't believe anything about yourself, how can anybody else? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I believe in me first before I believe anything or in anyone else. I can't motivate you to believe in yourself if I don't believe in myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to believe in me before I believe in anybody else. Now, there may be things that I'm going to be skeptical about because I'm human, but oh, I'm going to believe in me. I'm going to count on me every time. But that's the Calamine Lotion. I just apply it till it's equally smooth around my face so I don't have any like um, blotchy or, you know, bulky areas around my face. And once I do that, I'm good. I just go ahead and start applying my eyebrows. Go, in, go on into my makeup and be done. So I'm about to go ahead and do my makeup and I'll be back. Makeup is done. All I got to do now is the lip. And I get asked about my lip combo a lot. 
And all I honestly do is take the same gel that I use for my eyebrows and outline my lips. Blush, be quiet. They want my baby to be ghetto so bad. They know that, yeah, they. Her and her life. I don't even let her out in the backyard. Only in the front. She was just out in the backyard. She's just a dog. No, she's not. No, she's not. Then I blend it in. Blend, blend, blend. So, yeah, boom. So then I go with, mm, I think I want to do a nude lip combo today. Absolute New York Velvet Lippy in the shade Toasted. And I just go in and put it on top. Blush, you finna go in your cage. And I just bam. Could I t until I get it to the desired ombre that I'm aiming for. <laughs> Boom. And we're done. So I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses matte finishing spray and set the tone. And girl, if I had this bitch, it's bad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair. I gotta fix my lace because it's not lacing, and then we're gonna get dressed. We on our way outside. Well, as y'all can see, I'm in the car. I'm on my way. I got I got dressed pretty at a pretty decent time. I got done getting dressed, I think, at 11. So I had 30 minutes to sit down and chill with Bae. Um, it's currently 11.38. I just left my house. But it said that I was going to get there at 12.30. But that gives me 30 minutes of time in case anything happens. Because I'm going downtown. And downtown, I don't know how especially with it being cma weekend so we gonna see what we gonna be able to do i got my ways on and hopefully everything everything be everything everything be cool you just never fucking know that's that's the crazy part but i think i'm doing great with timing i started getting dressed at like nine something that 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 was what be beyond me like i cannot wait to move closer to the city so that way it's easier for me like i want to 
be able to get dressed. Like if I gotta be somewhere at one, I wanna start being able to get dressed at 11. Not having to get dressed at nine cause I gotta leave out at 11, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we on our way there. I'm beyond hungry. I look good, feel great. And I'm ready to go have me a good fucking time. So, I see y'all when we get there. I'm going to a place called, I think it's called God 3. I could be saying it wrong. But I've never been here before. And I'm ready to get the experience. I'm ready to have a good time. I want to smoke me some hookah, but she's going to go to a rooftop bar after the fact. Um, but either way, I look good. And it's time to have fun. So, let's go have fun. And I'm going to introduce y'all to my friend because y'all never seen him before. So, let go. Let that nigga try to bump. Let me pop out. Leave the club, slap it, drunk, come home and get my rocks out. So, I've made it. She's already in here. Well, she just got here. Um, she was a bit behind, but that's fine. I'm about to walk into here now. And see what the vibe is like. It looks like I don't have no clothes and my booties out, but it's really not.
until you're done. You don't put the vlog out there until you're done. You can record the whole process, but you don't put it out there until you have the finished product. Girl, get up. festivities that I had in Nashville um all the festivities that I have in Nashville 
and today is my sister's baby shower as well so i'm about to go home drop my car off and baby want me to get in the car with her but i ain't gonna lie to y'all i'm hungry so i don't know if i'm gonna pick me up something to eat on my way home or if i'm gonna see what they got to eat over there and eat something there but i definitely enjoyed my time with tori today we vibed we got to know each other on the level that we haven't really got to know each other on like the vibes was definitely vibing i'm in a stage in my life where i want to be connected with people that are on the same level that i'm on not people that don't really know themselves trying to figure shit out life is just complicated like because life for me is an individual it's very peaceful very organized very stable uh, very ambitious inspiring encouraging and i want the same people around me i want people around me that i can learn from that i can grow with and tori's definitely a person that fit the description and while we're on the like you know the brinks of getting to know each other just the entrepreneurial life itself has is something that we have in common like she's a full-time entrepreneur she has her own business she's been doing it for years she's been making a living out of it for years and it's something that i admire and something that i can look up to you know what i'm saying while she doesn't feel like she fits the standards in which i desire as a friend for me i've had to redirect her uh outlook a couple of times today by letting her know why i feel like you know she that person that can be like on the same level in life that I want and how she can be a value in my life and once I did that it kind of helped her in a way but yeah I'm on my way to Clarksville uh, yeah we're about to go to this baby shower hang out for a while and, you know celebrate Baby. Look at Chef Boy RT. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, look, she done went about us a skillet. Let me let y'all see. Mm -hmm. a, griddle. A, a griddle. A griddle. Mm -hmm. A griddle. She living. Her black girl luxury life. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Period. Look, watch it. Come on, baby. Can't afford that. <laughs> Good morning. It don't matter. You can scribble on that too. Yeah, Y'all, did hey man, it it worked. Two. Auntie was the lead last night, y'all. So as y'all seen, I went to brunch with Tori. Then we went to smoke Puka. Once we left there, I went to my sister's house for her baby shower. I did get there at the ass end of the baby shower. But, you know, sometimes... Your presence is important. No, I mean, it's necessary no matter what time you get there, okay? And I hung out with them. We came home. We went and got something to eat. We were so fucking drunk. I had... Baby, was you so fucking drunk? Yeah. She was... Oh. She was so fucking drunk. I had... At the brunch, I had a whole bottle of this... Granny, a bottle of that bamboo. She gonna drink you know, great mm -hmm. That shit is the smoothest. I'm telling you, hmm. the smoothest shit I've ever had in my life. No exaggeration. I had the bottomless mimosa by myself. I had two green tea shots and a tequila sunrise at Vibes. And then when I got to my sister's house, my brother had made, what did he call it? Pineapple, Pineapple Express? Express. He had made some Pineapple Express drink. I had some of that. I ended up having two cups of that. 
fuck it up. By the end of the night, my head was hurting, plus it was spinning. And my jaw was hurting. You know, every time my jaw start hurting, I think about that time I ended up, I got sick. You remember that? Cause this had started. But my jaw was hurting. I tossed and turned all fucking night. But we up this morning enjoying each other's company. I don't really know what we gonna do today. We ain't going nowhere. If we go somewhere, it's gonna be in Clarksville. Not going to Nashville. Yeah, so. Bob with us on this lovely Sunday. I forgot what day of the week it was already. Oh, boy, boy. He was just trying to get his money for school. So, go over to his house. Let me make sure that he does not call the police. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 about to get to working on pricing sizing and um prepping for my sale that i was supposed to have um when was i supposed to have it on sunday but i've been having like the worst toothache and i haven't had a toothache in so long um so I ain't gonna lie to you, it's definitely a major adjustment. But I'm about to go ahead and get on top of everything so I can be prepared and ready this time. Uh, I'm gonna go through my closet again and see if there's anything that I need to get rid of. It was very hard this time because I got rid of some stuff that I've been holding on to for a long time. But... <sighs> Without further ado, I'm sure I'm going to get rid of more because I'm buying so much and I have so much that I just don't wear or do anything with. So it's honestly necessary to just get rid of it and, you know, do away with it. Uh, my mouth definitely still hurts, but... <laughs> I'm either going to let it send me back or I'm going to still do what the fuck I need to do regardless. So, I'm going to choose B, not A. And I got a lot to do today. So, of course, I'm going to take y'all with. Um, so, until then, let's get these clothes prepped. So, I started working on the clothes for my um, sale. But, unfortunately, I don't have enough of the little uh strings to go on my tags so i'm about to sit down on amazon and order some so that way i can at least have them here by tomorrow so that i can um so i can um get some get get the rest of these damn clothes tagged and numbered and priced so that kind of put a hiccup in what I had going on, uh, but it's cool. I'm about to go ahead and look for them tags. Now, I got a couple errands that I need to run, so we're going to go do those in just a second. But I'm going to eat breakfast first because I haven't ate nothing yet. Um, so, then we're going to be outside. I'm on my way to the bank. 
ch -ch -ching. no for real so i kind of got this situation going on and i really don't know if i'm being scammed or if it's fucking real and <laughs> i'm going to the bank to see if they can help me because i don't know i cannot say trust my female intuition or my gut feeling right now because both of them has me in a world of fucking confusion. Now I may be talking a little weird because my mouth, my mouth is like, it's not hurting, but I have a lot of silver in my mouth from my uh, piercings. And it kind of, I don't know, when I have a toothache, it kind of interferes with that. I don't know why and I don't fucking know how, but it does. But I'm on my way to the bank. I'm praying to God this is a positive situation. Um, yeah, a positive situation because the crazy thing about life is that you really don't know who to trust, what to trust, if shit is real, if it's a scam. Like, you really just don't know and you don't find out until you make the moves thinking that, you know, this is a great opportunity and let me just go forth with it, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of what I'm going through right now. And I'm a little nervous. I am. I'm a, I'm a lot nervous because this could either be a come up or this could either be a setback. And one thing I'm not trying to do is be setback. But coming up, it's definitely okay with me for real so um i'm on my way to the bank so cross y'all fingers for me and i'm gonna keep y'all updated but right now i just don't know too many red flags i ain't gonna lie to y'all but i'm gonna keep y'all posted